so this so we continue that that thing in our sex wizard and in our section database that how we can make our built up section in the section wizard and in our section database okay <coughs> sorry so yeah so if you click on section wizard then you can see this type of flow If you click on section wizard, then you can see this type of flow. Now, like you want to make your gantry gutter section, as you know how that the gantry gutter section looking like. So the gantry gutter section is our like a there is one eye section, and above that we put the channel section. Okay, that's called as our gantry gutter. And above that we put the rails to apply the wheel roads on that. So that's a uh, next thing. But before that, we have to make the gantry gutter section. Okay, I am taking just example the gantry gutter. That's uh, that's very common example. So you have to click on sex, uh, select profile. Now go for India. Click on S and I take it like a ISMB 200. Okay, click on OK. This one. Now click on what? You have to just click on add. So this is your I set. Now you have to put what? You have to put the channel section that. Should be in contact with the flange of the I section. Okay, the web of the channel system should be lie in that way. Uh, those should be direct contacted to each other. The web of the channel system and top flange of the I section. So now what you have to do? You have to just click on self profile again, and you have to take the ISMC section in channel section role channel section. This one. So I am taking like a IMJ, IMJC 200. Click on OK. Now you can see that this one, but you have to put in this way. Okay, you can see my cursor also. Where I am showing the how you have to put the channel section above the I section. So you have to rotate it by 90 degrees. So if you give the rotation in operation tool, you can see the rotation give 90, but it is just opposite. You have to take what 270 degree. Okay, so in 270 degree, this is it is according to our condition. That now okay. Now we have to put it. So you have to join the node with node. You can see the six node below uh, below the web and the twelve node above the web. Okay. Outside the web is our node number twelve and inside the web is our node number six. So this node number six should be join the node number eleven of the I. Then you can make your gantry gutter section. So you have to put join node. Which node you want to join? Join six node, join number six, but you want to join it with node number eleven. So you have to select the eleven. Okay. Now you have to just click on add. So you can see that your gantry gutter has made. So this is the size, this is the section of your gantry. Gutter. Now minimize it. Now there are lot of options. First is our create standard section. Okay. So you have to save it. So we go for next. Uh, this is our delete the selected element not we don't want this one you can shift it also if you click this one and press right click and shift and rotate you can shift or rotate this one again okay there is not any problem some options are also available if you want to change the element then you can change also okay there is the option of that but if you change the element then there is problem that i want to show you if you take let uh, like taking little bit Process. Yeah, so the problem is those are now intersected. Okay, those are now intersected. That's why I prefer you delete this one. Click on that, delete. Now again, make the section. Okay, again, make the section. So by the right double click on that, you can make it. So there is that option check. See. I check first. Check. 
Charge the seat should be clear. So it is the equalizer as there is no need for that. So, I check, check. Yeah, if it is not here, it should be here. There is a register. Yeah, this one. Yes, in the left option, the left blue corner, you can see the option. Okay, if you minimize it by mistake, you have to click again. Then you can set up it again by changing the property. Select profile again, take another one. Indian section, rolled like I am taking 125. Okay, click on OK. Now again, rotate it by if you go to minus negative, then also it will be looking like 270. That you know. So node number six should be connected with node number 11 again. So six by 11. There are other options are also available to assembling it. You can see the assembling tab in that one, two, three. Set node, join line, join line. <laughs> so what are the tools are other tools are what things? So I will clear. <laughs> okay, so if you click on join line, then you can see some lines are there. Okay, that means the line that is passing through one two. What is the line? One two one two means this one, one and two. But you want to join the line by six twelve to the 2 and 11. So you can see a lot of options are available. But uh, I don't think so. Those lines are available in this that we want. Because we want this line as well. You can take the 9, 11 also. Because you have to join it. One second. With line board, line board our 9, 5. No, this is not for us. 8, 4. No. 12 and 10, that is not. And uh, three and one, three one is not four also. So you have to select if that is available or not. It is the possibility that that thing you want that is uh, that may not be available. Okay. So you can take by the joining line if there is option. You can take use the select set node also. You have to take any one of not from here. Like I am taking again six. But I want to take it at the 11th node. But I don't know that what is the ordinate of the 11th node in the ISNC. So that's why we can't use this ordinate system. Okay, if you know the ordinate, you can see. One second. So if you see that, this is your ZZ axis. So I take it up a little bit. Yeah, this is YZ. Okay, this is y axis, this is z axis. So, this is your origin. Origin is here. You want to set it at here, but you don't know what is the ordinate of the eleven, so you can't use it. So, I prefer for this case, you can use join node. Click on six node by the 12, or by the 11. Click on add. Yes, this. It is complete now. So, you can see we have made this type of gantry cutter. You have to just save it. And you can export it directly. Yeah, again, two things are coming. What is the prismatic and what is the general? So I have told you that general section is used. General section may contain this analysis as well as design, but it will not contain the select. Select means still optimization. But your prismatic section, <coughs> prismatic section only can use uh, can use only for analysis it can't use for our design process so if you you want to design this gantry garda then you have to take what sandra because in the general session you can design okay so you have to put it by the name you can save it like a gc okay now the table units those all are in millimeters depending it now give the section name gc these all the things, eggs, all the parameters, this calculated program calculated. Now, cross it. There is no need to save. Now we have to import it. So use table, click on yes, external file, browse it. <coughs> so that is in our document. 
document I have saved. I search one second. The GCP. Okay, click on open. Now it is already here by the location of the file. Click on OK. This one. You have to just add it. Okay, these are the things that you can see here. Say, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. Because if we add, then we are adding another success. Click on close. Click on user table. Click on this. Add. Close. Now make any kind of geometry. By like three meter, I joining those nodes by the beam command. Properties take sign this to. Now you see the three D diagram. Then there is one thing that I want to show. It is a line number, as you can see. Because the problem is that you can't see the structural uh, section wizard. Members in the 3D range. This is the drawback, but it is the same. There is not any issue. You can double click on that, but you can't open it because you have made this in your user table, external file. Okay, so you have to make this, uh, make that surety that you have made a perfect session that you want. Okay, that we have already made. <laughs> you can't see this section in our 3D rendering. It is a drawback, but as you have take it as general, so it means you can use it as analysis and you can use it as design. So this is the things that how you can make the section wizard. How can you use the section wizard to make a build of sections? Now, come on section database. Let us discuss something about section database. So I'm taking the idea because this version is new. This is the new version because the section wizard is is not working in my last version. That's why I have taken this version. So if you want to change some values from these tables so you have to just unlock it and you can change any kind of values okay just let's i take it as as safe so these are our ismps ishb all the sections are available you can double click yeah you have to first unlock it and you can give the any value that you want okay you can use the any kind of value that you want. So this is your theory about or is your concept about how you can use the section wizard and section database to make your build up section. Okay. So in the uh, prismatic uh, legacy also, there are a lot of options that I have already discussed. These one type specification. If you take T section, if you take double profile, the double profile is also a type of uh, built up section and compose section. You can see top core plate, bottom core plate that I already discussed in my starting. Lines. So, okay, so this is the it is sufficient for today. So, thank you guys.